Rule six, equipment for the horse. Equipment on your horse, you're required to have front leg wraps on. Shockingly, four leg wraps are not required, but every player I know uses four leg wraps. And oftentimes they'll use those tendon boots over the leg wraps. Um, some of these horses that they play in the high goal are, are worth a lot of money, so, so the players are very sensitive to taking really good care of them. So, minimum is wraps on your front legs. I uh, recommend wraps on all four legs, and I would, I would recommend investigating some tendon boots. I think some of them are light and um, pretty versatile and offer a lot of protection. So, something to think about. Okay. No blinders or shadow rolls. And you're thinking, what? This is something you would see like an Amish guy driving his cart would have blinders on his horse so they don't scare at the traffic. Um, for some reason, this is in the rules. So blinders are those things in the horse that go like this. And uh, shadow rolls, I'm guessing, are something similar. I don't even know what it is. So uh, don't use them. Never seen it happen in the 35 years I've been active and playing. So I guess this is for the Amish crew. Don't, uh, don't bring your horses with blinders on. OK, no horseshoes with an outer rim or frost nails, dull heel cocks uh, on hind shoes only and one inch or less from the shoe surface to the ground surface. Okay, this is one of those things that hardly ever comes into play unless you're up against some kind of a strange weather situation. So for example, if the fields have had a lot of rain and you have to play the finals of a big tournament and, and you've got an entire team and you really want to get an advantage, I've seen teams pull their shoes off completely and play with no shoes because of the ground conditions. Um, teams might want to put different kind of shoes on so they get uh, an advantage. So if you're going to do that, uh, open the rule book to rule six, it's only three sentences long, and show your farrier this rule so he doesn't accidentally put outer rim or frost nails on or, or, or heel cocks on the, on the front shoes or something like that. Um, just make sure that he knows what you're trying to accomplish and what you can't do. So bring out rule six and show him or her what it is that you can't do. Um, don't kid yourself, polo gossip is strong and if you do something like this one of your people from your camp is going to leak it and it's going to get around and the other team is going to find out and they're going to protest and it would be a shame to lose a prestigious tournament because you were an inch and a half from the shoe surface to the ground surface with your with your heel cock or something like that. So that's kind of a no-brainer, but you've heard it here first. Check the rule book before you do it. Uh, that's all for rule six, equipment for the horse.